one thing that those cloud adoption frameworks do a good job of is that they force you to analyze kind of the capabilities of your organization before you go into it. So it goes back to where we were talking about, you know, what teams yeah. you involve. You also need to identify up front, you know, what skill sets do you not have enough of or do you not have any at all? Um, you do have to assess your organization before you go into this. It says nothing bad about your current team at all, but there's some different skill sets involved in this. You know, there's a heavy reliance on networking knowledge, as especially on a first time move to the cloud when you're setting all this up. You know, you're setting up landing zones, stuff you've never had. Um, yeah. You may not conventionally need a bunch of networking folks to run your current platform, but you are going to need to know, um, you're going to need more of those folks for some stages of, of a migration. Um, mm -hmm. And if you don't have that, you're going to need to find a way to get that contract, consultant, FTE, whatever best suits you. But knowing that up front allows you to plan, budget, and all those sorts of things versus getting to a status meeting early on and somebody like me saying, yeah, we don't have enough of these people, so we're stuck until we hire some. Yeah. Um, you want to know that up front so you can you know, onboard them properly, keep things moving at, at the cadence and speed that they need to be and not kind of jerk the car from side to side as you figure out another need you didn't assess up front.